Now suppose you're asked to expand 1 plus x to the power 4. You might just write 1 plus x to the power 4 is identical to all of these brackets. And then expand out these brackets. And imagine how many lines that's going to be. Well in fact I've done this for you, so I'll show you what the result would be. There it is, OK. 1 plus x to the power 4 is identical to the four brackets. And if I expand out, say, the last two, I get this. Tidy up the last bracket, I get this. Then multiply the 1 plus x with everything in this bracket, and I get this line. Tidy this bracket up, I get this line. Multiply out finally by the 1 plus x, I get this line. And tidy it up again, I get this line. Gosh, how many lines is that? Gosh, it's quite a lot, isn't it? You're going to be absolutely fed up doing that. And imagine if it was 1 plus x to the power 5. Well, help is at hand. There is another way that we can do expansions like this. It's called the binomial expansion formula. And here it is. If you've got 1 plus x to the power n, then it can be shown that it's identical to this expansion here, often known as the binomial expansion. What I'll do is I'll just take you through this formula, this method, if you like, and show you how easy it is to apply. And we'll take a, the example then, 1 plus x to the power 4. Okay. Now comparing this to the expression up here, you can see that n is the 4. So this is going to be identical to 1 plus nx, so that would be 4 times x, nx, there you go, so we put 4 times the x. Then it goes on to say plus n times n minus 1, so that means that I have n at 4, n minus 1 is to reduce the 4 by 1, so that's 3, over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, remember, is 2 times 1, I'll just write that in as 2 times 1, rather than 2 factorial. Then it's times x squared. So pop that in there. Next term, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. What that means is we have n at 4. n minus 1 is going to be multiplied by 3. n minus 2, if we take 2 away from the 4, we're left with 2. So 4 times 3 times 2. So you can see this just keeps going down in steps of 1. So it's over 3 factorial, so the 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. Then it's times x cubed, so that would be x cubed on the end. Now I've put plus and so on because this one will go for another term. It will be 4 times 3 times 2 and then we have to take another one away from this number, so that's down to 1. And it's all over 4 factorial, or 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And that's multiplied by x to the power 4. The next term would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 0. But anything times 0 would be 0, so this would just terminate here. It goes up to the power that you've got on the bracket, so the power 4 in this example. So all that's left to do is just to tidy this up. And so what we have is 1 for the first term, and the second term is 4x. And here we've got 4 times 3, which is 12. 12 over 2 is 6, so we have our 6x squared. The next term is 4 times 3 times 2, that's 12 times 2 is 24, and it's divided by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4, so we have 4x cubed. And finally, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that's going to cancel out completely. So it's just going to leave me with 1x to the 4, or just x to the 4. And look at this answer. Look how quickly we've got this compared to what we had up here. So clearly this method is a superior way compared to this 
of expanding expressions like this. Now not only can we use this formula to expand expressions like this, we can tackle much harder expressions, much more involved where the x term just isn't x. And I'll demonstrate that in the next example. So what we'll do is just move this up, we'll leave the formula there so you can see how it works. And we'll take the example 1 plus say 2 thirds x to the power 3. OK, let's have a look at what this will be identical to. Now, in this example, n is 3, but the x is being replaced now with 2 thirds x. So we just follow the formula through, but wherever there is an x, we replace it with 2 thirds x. So we start off with 1 plus then nx. So n is 3, so that's 3 times not x really, but the term that is written in place of x, which is going to be 2 thirds x. So that's 2 thirds x. Next term, the power, 3, reduce it by 1, so that's down to 2. OK, multiply it by the x term, which is 2 thirds x, and square it. Don't forget as well the 2 factorial. So we write that in there. 2 factorial then is 2 times 1. We move on to the next term. So it is the power, 3, multiplied by 2. We take 1 away from the power, and then we take 2 away from the power. So it's going to come down to 1. 3, 2, 1. It's over 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1. And it's multiplied by the x term, all cubed. And the x term is 2 thirds x. So 2 thirds x, all cubed. Again, this would terminate here at the power 3 because the next term would be 3 times 2 times 1 times 0 and 0 times anything just vanishes. OK? All that's left to do now is just tidy this up. So we have 1 and then 3 times 2 thirds x is just going to be 2x. Then we have plus and then if we work this term out, don't forget this becomes 4 over 9, 4 ninths x squared. 4 ninths x squared times the 3, because the 2's cancel. Let's just show you those cancel, so the 2's cancel. So 4 ninths x squared times the 3 becomes 4 thirds x squared. So we just pop that in there, 4 thirds x squared. And when we look at this term, you can see that the 3 times 2 times 1 cancels out with the denominator there. And so that all we've got left is 2 thirds x all cubed. Be careful here, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So that's 8 over 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. 8 twenty-sevenths x cubed. And there's that expansion. Now hopefully you've been able to see now how easy it is to apply the binomial expansion formula through these two examples. But in later tutorials I'm going to show you that we can take this further. One disadvantage with this is that we always have to make sure that this is a 1. But what happens if we have say 2 plus 3x all to the power 5 for instance to be expanded? Well, as I say, in later tutorials, I show you how we handle expansions like this where the front number here is not a 1.